Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to update Windows Defender definition updates, or as we call it, Microsoft Defender antivirus, depending on what month we're watching this. This can help you fix certain error messages in it where you can't update, or any reason why you can't update Windows Defender. Now, there's a few ways to do it. It's not hard at all. What we're going to do first is we're going to kind of follow this guide in the background. We're going to show you how to check for updates first and foremost. Click your start click settings scroll on down to update security and if you click check for updates it should download your latest antivirus updates but if you want to see where you're at click view update history scroll down till you find definition updates and as you can see installed on 1215 same day I'm doing this video next up you might want to consider manually updating. So from this page, which I'll link to right around here, little I, you click that I, you can follow through to Major Geeks or check the video description. Download the Windows Defender antivirus definitions. Pick your operating system, 32-bit, 10 and 8, 64, 10 and 8, 32, 7, and Vista, 64, 7, and Vista. So I've got 64, I'm going to click that. And now we're just going to wait a few seconds. The download will start automatically for you. There it goes. We can close that out. And you're going to want to know where that file is. Of course, in my case, it's in downloads. Let's head over to there. Let it finish. Very, very important if you want to update this, do not just click it. You need to right click it. Almost as important, nothing is probably going to happen. I've never seen anything happen. As crazy as it sounds, let me show you. Run as administrator. One of two things, there it is. Should happen. And here's the thing. Nothing's going to happen after this. Just keep your mouse still. You see that cursor spinning? When the cursor's spinning, it's done. Now, I've yet to see anything else happen, and I've confirmed where I've had the antivirus behind. I went back and checked my update and security, which I just showed you, the history, and sure enough, it was updated. Now, my other favorite way is we're going to do it in the command prompt. This will always work. You could do command prompt or PowerShell. So, for example, CMD. I don't think you need to run as administrator, but as I've mentioned many times before, I prefer to by default because if you run as administrator and don't need to, you're fine. But if you don't run as administrator and you need to, then it won't work. So in other words, running as administrator when you don't have to will almost always work. So I'm going to do the Windows key plus X and I'm going to do PowerShell. I'm going to click it as admin. And all we're going to do in this, this way is not much different than anything else you see here. We're just going to execute from PowerShell or Command Prompt. We're going to do that by switching to the folder right there. So just copy and paste that. Again, you can find that link up here somewhere if you don't want to type all this in. It's not too tough. And type that in and press Enter to change to the folder. There we go. And then we're going to execute this right here. Now the reason you'll see the dot period in there I'll show you real quick. Usually, see if it makes me look good. Usually it'll give you an error message. Oh, come on. Ah, thank you. Thought it wasn't going to work. So I'm just letting you bypass this. As you can see, you can hit pause and read this if you like. Basically, it's not allowing you to run from that location. But if you add the period backslash, copy, put it here, control V, enter, you can see it. The magic happening. No updates needed because you saw we just updated. So there you have it. So there's three different ways. One of them should work for you, especially if you're getting an error. But typically, if you really, really need it, if it's been more than a couple of days, that's different. But otherwise, keep in mind, please, that Windows Defender updates every day. So if it missed it, say this time, sometime in the next 24 hours, it'll probably update again anyway. So there you have it. As always, bottom right corner, click subscribe, click like if we helped you out. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.